so you don't reference anything. Nothing about you is familiar to that Bible. That's one. Two, your people would tell all their life as they go into the Christian church while they rob you, just trust in Jesus, uh, God's ways are mysterious and all that stuff. And meanwhile, you live in the projects. Your people get gunned down by your own people. Your people get drug soaked in by your own people. White people come in here and oppress you and kill you. Asian people beat on y'all and treat y'all bad at the store. Every, everybody's people can come over here and get ahead but your own people. So when you go to church and you hear God loves everybody, but you look at your people and everybody else's people, it's like, okay, surely God loves everybody but us. God clearly hates us. Because look at where we live, where everybody else doesn't live. Why do we get it the worst? Why can't somebody, why can a white man kill my brother in cold blood on camera and say, I didn't do anything wrong, I fear for my life, but he had a gun on him and he was unarmed. Why, why does that happen to us? I'm going to show you why you don't believe in God or the Bible, because it was poorly taught to you by the people that enslaved you, by the people that gun you down, by the people that have you living in this trash and this filth called the projects. You understand? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. That's what I want. 15 and 16. Read what you got. Book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked. Unto the who? Unto the wicked. Go to uh, Malachi real quick. Because the Bible calls the wicked Esau. The reason why he does this is because when you go back to Genesis, the 25th chapter, he describes the Caucasian man. For example, uh, what they call him in the South? A white man. Or a white woman. A cracker. What else? A, a what? They call white women Karen. Okay, Karen, that, that's a fairly new term, term though. But what they call him in the South? Like you slap the back of his neck, what color is his neck turn? Oh, right. Red they call him a red neck. Why? His, what color is your shirt, young man? White. Thank you. <laughs> your shirt is white, right? You ever seen a person neck that, that color? Yes. But if you get, they get mad as hell, what color they turn? Red. Red. Red as hell, don't they? Right? The Bible calls them red. The Bible, his biblical name is Esau, which means wasted away as he, meaning his skin complexion, you can see his blood through his skin. He's see? a red man according to the Bible. Right. That's what God calls him. The Bible also calls him the wicked. Right. right? And we'll touch on it if you bear with us, right? But this is talking about this man. Read. Monica chapter 1 verse 4. Uh -huh. Or as Edom saith, we are impoverished. So Edom or Esau is a nation of people that are Today, Caucasian race, read. But we will return and build the desolate places. That's talking about the Dark Ages because during the Dark Ages in what is known as, as Europe, we ruled for a thousand years. That's where King James, who was a black man and many people like him, ruled for over a thousand years. And the white people were in the Caucasus Mountains hiding because we beat their tail that bad. This is talking about them reestablishing themselves in Earth during something called the, the, the Spanish Inquisition when they retook back the world from what they call so-called Negroes. Then you get Christopher Columbus coming over here conquering the Americas, them coming and picking us up in the west coast of Africa. That's all that history is recorded right here in the Bible. Read. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. they shall build. Right, they're going to build, they're going to reestablish their world. That's why you got America, that's why you got Europe building. What they is, that's why they, everywhere, Australia, everywhere. This white man has conquered the entire world in a brief time. Read. But I will throw down. Right, God's going to destroy them. Read. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. The Bible calls this man wicked as hell. Because what, what righteous man does this to a people? What righteous man creates viruses and then puts them out and causes people to die and calls it a pandemic? But he created. What, what uh, righteous person creates food supply demands where it's not, we're not in a food shortage because there's, there's no food. Right. He is creating a food shortage. Right. He is doing that. That's not a righteous person. That is a wicked person. What person creates a law that says now a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman? Or you can... Uh, they, they soon to pass laws that say that you can marry a child. Those are things that they're creating. That's, that's not. Is that righteous? Do you agree with that? That's wicked as hell. The Bible calls this man the border, meaning the beginning and the end of wickedness. Right? So now that we've established that that man is wicked and his entire race, there is not one good one. I know we like to think that because they smile. They will all call you a nigga behind your back. Believe it. Right? Now, go back to that. Verse 16. But unto the wicked, God saith. Unto the wicked, this race of people, read. What has thou to do to do declare my statutes? Right. Meaning, who are you to pick up my Bible and start teaching my people about it? Like they did us in slavery. Who are you to pick up my Bible and say, this man, which is my son, is a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes, when I say he's a dark-skinned man with bronze skin and woolly hair? 
who are you to declare my scriptures? Read. The wicked, that is. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Uh -huh. See, thou hatest instruction. Right. This man hates instruction. That's why he was cursed as a people. That's why he hates us because he was the elder. Esau was the oldest brother. That white man was our oldest brother, Esau and Jacob. He defied God. He hated God and the covenant. And because of that, it was given to his youngest twin brother, Jacob, who will be named Israel. And will have 12 sons and receive the blessings of God. And he hates that thing. That's why, for no reason at all, they hate you. It's in them to do it because they are our twin brother. And we have been given the blessing of God. This is why, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked the brother down there. If, and it's not a hate campaign. We don't hate white people. We just bringing out the nonsense that they do. They've right. taken our Bible and mistaught it. They've put us in slavery. They kill us and put us in projects. Right. They do the most evil in the earth. And those are our friends. No, those are your enemies. They hate you plainly. They See? tell you to your face they hate you. They show you to your face they hate you. That's right. But God said we better than them. I'll give you a point. How old are you, young man? 17. 17 years old. If three white boys walked up to you and tried to beat you up, you think you could take all three of them? I, do you think you could? Sure. Sure? <laughs> Why? I will say. <laughs> you, you said that with some confidence. You believe that. That's, that's proof you know we build better than them. Three of them couldn't whoop you with all they might. With all they might. Why? Because you're better than them. There's clearly, get it, get, let's, let's show them Esau in the Bible. Just, just, just in case I'm lying. Just in case I'm lying. Get that. Genesis 25. Watch this. I'm going to show you the origin of this Caucasian man. Right? Remember, we said he laughed too hard. You smack him on his neck. You smack him in the face or he get mad. What color he turn? Right? Not the color of your shirt. He turns red as hell. Right? Now, somebody, somebody pull up red, like skin complexion red, and show them as we read this. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 23. Remember, we're talking about Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. We're going to describe it out the Bible. Read. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So this is Isaac's wife. Right? Isaac's wife, Rebecca, is pregnant with twins. And the twins are fighting inside of her. Right? One Jacob, one Esau, one the father of these people, one the father of the Caucasian race. Read. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Two different kinds of people are going to be separated at birth. Not together, not friends, not, hey, we're brothers. No, they're going to be, they're going to hate each other from their birth. They're going to be separated from their birth. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than their other people. These twins, though, one of those people are going to be, notice they said these are twins, but they call it one of these twins a people, meaning a race. One of these races is going to be stronger than the other one. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the oldest child is going to serve the youngest child, meaning the firstborn is going to be a servant to the youngest. That make sense? The youngest is going to be better in every way, and the oldest is going to be trash, so that we follow. Now let's get the description of them. Read. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out and red. the elder shall serve the youngest. So the firstborn came out what? And the first came out red uh -huh. all over like a hairy garment. So the first child came out red and hairy. You take a Gillette razor from a white man, what are you gonna look like? If he stopped shaving for a month, what do you look like? He got hair on his back, he got hair on his chest, he got hair on his arms, he got hair on his legs. You take his, his, his razor away from him for one month, that man would look like the caveman he tells you created dirt and stuff. He knows that. That's why we don't get mad at him about that. That's his, he know that. They lived in caves. They are the real cavemen. They, they didn't have razors and they was hairy as hell and they also wear, show him that, show him that. So read that part again and look at this picture. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. We look red? Is our skin complexion red? Whose skin complexion is red? You're reading about the white man's birth in the Bible. Right? And his name was called what? And they called his name Esau. Right. And they called his name Esau. And then he changed his name to Edom. Right? So when you hear the Bible talking about Edom or the wicked, it's talking about this Caucasian race of people who God we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark.
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.